I'm John Shaneman in Martin County. We're just 30 minutes north of where some of the best golfers in the world are teeing off this week. Developers and designers are planning to build some of what they hope will be some of the world's best courses. You can see how mature it actually looks for a brand new course. Mike Davis, the former CEO of the USGA, the United States Golf Association, is part of the team developing Apogee, a private club that will have three 18-hole courses west of Hobe Sound. Each golf course is going to have its own personality. There's three different design teams. While there will be villas for members to stay in, there will be no houses built. This was, in our view, the premier piece of property. Davis says the course can do its part to help the environment by drawing in fresh water that otherwise heads east into the estuary and can lead to algae blooms. Essentially, we're water farming. We're, we've got almost, it'll be about 170 acres of lakes when we're all done. It's a way to cleanse the water. We're putting nutrients on our golf course that we're not otherwise having to use. Davis says golf right now is in a great place. Golf is growing internationally. It's growing in the United States. It's growing in Florida. And the numbers back him up. According to the National Golf Foundation, Florida has opened more golf courses in the past five years than any other state. And 2023 finished with the most rounds played in history. East of I-95 and north of Bridge Road, another golf course is taking shape. This one coming with a luxury housing component. This is the Atlantic Fields short course. Tom Hurley says Atlantic Fields will also host a championship golf course and 317 homes on 1,500 acres. He adds golf got a big boost during the pandemic. All of us that were in that, during that time were looking for things to do outside and away from people and, and social distance, and golf is really the ideal sport for that. That, combined with the migration of people from the Northeast, has led to an increased desire for golf at all levels. Atlantic Fields, which became viable after a new rural lifestyle zoning category was created, plans to donate an equestrian facility, which will allow added public access to Atlantic Ridge State Park. But Hurley says the defining legacy could be the tax revenue this project will create for the county. 40 or 50 million dollars of incremental tax revenue every year with virtually no services required. Golf may not be everyone's cup of tea, but it could be around forever here in South Florida. In Martin County, John Shane, WPTV, News Channel 5.